Good day, collective. This is a healing and ascension message for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Mercury, north node. Remember to only take what resonates, leave what does not. Personal readings are available. The links are in the description box. If you have $5 a month, go ahead and join my members only for additional healing and ascension content. What does my Aquarius Collective need to know about spiritual warfare at this time? Please and thank you, my high vibrational Aquarius Collective. This could be your energy. This could be someone can, that you're connected to. Just take the roles how they go for you. First card out is Tears. Lacking direction and focus. Next is rips. Events designed to induce stress and trauma so an entity and force can take over. Aquarius Collective, if you know you're being spiritually attacked and you're lacking direction and focus, you may want to put a hold on uh, smoking any cannabis at this time. You have the career and work energy. Someone you work with or someone that you've met during your career could be why you are manifesting a lack of focus when it comes to your uh, career and your future right now. Aquarius Collective, y'all have an entity on your bloodline that's literally trying to take you over. Whatever type of work you're doing is low vibrational enough that it's basically helping that entity um, dig deep into your root chakra and stay there, basically. So, um, I won't say good luck with that. You definitely need to be purifying your energy and possibly finding a new uh, field of work or something like that. It's, it's about to start impacting your physical body and or your uh, foundation that you may have when it comes to your stability. What's the tears? Yeah, you're lacking direction and focus right now when it comes to your money. It's because literally your career and work is under attack. But it's, once again, it's because of your family's lineage. What's the rips energy? Or someone close to your family, somebody that you see as a family member, you notice something has changed, an entity has taken that person over. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. I also have Virgo energy and Libra energy. The way people communicate, especially when it comes to money, Aquarius, a lot of your family members or associations, they're about to have unexpected changes when it comes to their income. Whether it's high vibrational or not, it depends on what those, how those people carry the energy of love. Like, I'm not saying they have to be religious and Christ-like, but how they actually talk about people behind their backs. Mm. <sighs> Career work. You're not able to focus on your money as much as you want to right now because you know you have a different journey path when it comes to your career. You need to stop listening to whatever family member or family friend person that keeps telling you what you need to do for money because they're a whole entity. Whoever you're listening to when it comes to your career and work, they are an entity. Just because they're older than you and come off as wise doesn't mean they're an official person. And even what they do for work, they may be receiving this communication that they're about to receive some tears in their wallet for being low vibrational. What's this family energy?
You have imprisonment and courtship. Aquarius Collective, you guys have energies. Could be Taurus, Aries and Taurus energy present as well. Um, these people are in spiritual jail and they're literally trying to like stay binded to you to basically continue impacting <laughs> your wealth materially and spiritually, Aquarius. You know this already. You're bored with the situation. You feel like you already walked away from these individuals. Spiritual warfare wise, you have tears when it comes to your finances. Your mother is in poverty, spiritually bankrupt. Could be your mom and or a child's mom if you're a male Aquarius. Mother, children's mother. If not, you know, both. But those feminine energies in your energy field right now, collective, is causing you to lack focus where you're trying to manifest money. You have to go through a rebirth and transformation when it comes to your finances. Clear your... Uh, root chakra your heart chakra you need to be balancing showing a lot of love to your root chakra and your heart chakra okay the rips energy change and message of concern the whole people what they're saying behind your back Aquarius collective very very immature it's the aries female this person could have found out either you were a twin flame or your career and your work doesn't involve her energy so she's trying to figure out how to work together to cause an illusion of some sort Somebody could say something on social media about some money to get your attention. It's to trap you. Children's mom might try to lure you in talking about money for a new beginning. That money has an attachment to it. I wouldn't take it if I were you. It's a plot to that's going to hurt you in the long run. Career, work, and journey. You have the world card in reverse. It's going to be individuals that's going to be communicating with you. You're going to notice changes in your own communication because you're you're going to, it's some type of backstab betrayal, whether from a children's mom or a mom or a feminine energy that you felt was cared about you at some point in time or something. It's going to be some type of backstab or betrayal. I feel like you should just take a leap of faith to leave that cycle open to focus more on healing your feminine energy when it comes to your root chakra and your heart chakra. You need to be improving your physical health right now. It's a cycle not complete when it comes to your work or someone that you encountered during your work. What's the world card in reverse? You got the magician energy involving manipulation, manifestation, word witchery, or magic. Aquarius Collective, your mom and a couple of other feminine energies have basically cursed your money. So you're going to always feel like you're in a battle or you have to defend everything that you invest in. Your mother, your child's mom. Even if you don't communicate with these feminine energies, they still are in your energetic field, in your sacral chakra, in your solar plexus. What does Aquarius need to know about this family courtship and imprisonment? You may have a family member or a friend that's long distance right now because they're incarcerated. This person, even though they're incarcerated, they participate in rituals of some sort. But whatever ritual that they did, they they couldn't cover it with the Five of Pentacles. 
but they used your energy they use your health in some shape form or fashion in this spell work could have been through social media or someone that you gave some attention and your energy to you trusted somebody that you shouldn't have trusted and they gave your energy to somebody that's working against you working against your money basically working against everything that you're trying to manifest it's your own smother child smother it's no masculine energy in here Aquarius, you're dealing with women that are entities and doing rituals on every new beginning. Every inclination that they get because of who you're talking to. Whoever you talk to, they go and run their mouth to these female energies. And then they have this person use your twin flame energy if you are a twin flame to like continue to have wrapped up in low vibrational energy situation towers. It's your own family working against you because they taken over by entities, Aquarius. There's no other way for me to say that. Let's see what the lesson was when it came to challenges or difficulties or decisions, lies, truths, cheating, stealing, exposure. lesson regarding the recent past what was my high vibrational aquarius collective lesson for the recent past truth and clarity so you can get some type of idea about manifesting whatever your wish fulfillment is high vibrational aquarius feminine energy you may feel like you have tears in your energy field because you feel left out in the cold you're wrapping up a, a karmic cycle you just wrapped up a karmic cycle when it comes to your finances. So it's very important for you to take any type of downloads and messages of communication, a new opportunity to improve the things that you're manifesting with your career and work. You will have to leave some family out, though. Maybe you found out someone had a relationship to try to bind somebody and now you're no longer decisive and you're you're very clear of what happened and i guess who did what so you're ready to put an ending to that or you will be very soon your lesson in the recent past y'all was about using whatever expertise you have and trying to you know come up with what's next was there any achievements do you feel complete and whole? Somebody doesn't want you to. The full card energy again. Very uh, low vibrational Aries feminine energy Aquarius. Your money isn't going to Im improve until she lets you go. Until you finish whatever cycle this is. She's using magic. Possibly period blood. But the police know or you may end up having to call the police could be a cancer energy with a low vibrational ass aries placement but in the recent past you learned to leave somebody out in the cold especially when it came to finances you could have found out what they did to get money yeah it's true but let's focus on the present now somebody wants to apologize you got the four of wands with the page of cups. Either you want to apologize or somebody wants to apologize to you. Your present lessons, though, is about uh, basically getting downloads and also celebrating some type of achievement. Even if it's um, you starting a new cycle with a child. Or somebody wants to communicate with you. Somebody has a secret they want to tell you, Aquarius, like presently now. But your present lessons is for you to be learning about real stability. And the situations you can get yourself caught up in flirting with people that are trying to bind you. What's the near future lesson? In the near future, somebody is going to plan some type of event and someone's going to end up getting locked up i'm just letting you know now um in the near future it's going to be a lot of lessons when it comes to money you won't be able to start any new projects because in the past you had poor planning 
involving children and what you've seen as wish fulfillment. Poor planning is what is what I'm hearing. So it's basically gonna be some consequences, repercussions, whether positive or negative, depending on what you've been reap what you've been sowing. You get what you put out. Aquarius, this is a Capricorn that's your enemy and a Leo. And you you like sit up with these people and talk to these people. They are like your enemy enemies. They they're taking over too. They're sent to completely destroy your money. First house and sixth house. Your health. You're not competition. They're just low vibrational. Sent here to make sure you only make a little money at a time. You never fulfill your emperor duties, Aquarius. It's a cancer that knows all of this. It's an Aries and a cancer female. Both of them bitches is two-faced. What's the karma messages? Karma in the first house. Karma in the sixth house. Aquarius, you getting karma for what you do as a job and how you project yourself. You got Libra energy is involved as well. So you and a Libra are going to be getting karma. And you got Mercury because of some magic. And you got Sagittarius energy as well. Second house with karma, whatever Aquarius and Libra, whatever magic was being paid for to be done on someone's intuition, stability, or children, this Sagittarius is about to give you all whatever you believed to have done to a female Gemini energy because they're responsible, successful, and a pers person of power. Whatever you believed and valued about that person or didn't value, that's what's coming back to you. Pluto said it's going to hurt. Uranus said it's going to hurt. Pluto and Uranus, it's going to hurt. You got Capricorn energy. It's the devil himself. And Aquarius and Libra made it their goal every day due to Pisces and involving a Pisces. Uh, to serve some type of projection a little bit at a time when it came to your resources, what you valued. No one was concerned about karma at all. But it's a Leo and a Virgo that has some money involved in the situation involving a house and or a child, if not both. It's going to be some type of communication about that coming out. This karma is ratchet. I'm, I already feel it. It's ratchet. What does the collective need to know about this Capricorn energy when it comes to karma? Y'all need to be focusing on your own business. Don't let the devil interfere with your day-to-day -day reality, especially when it comes to your dreams and what, what you want to do. Y'all ancestors are there to help you with your wish fulfillment, even though you have low vibrational energies doing everything in their power to stop it. What is the collective? Yeah, this Capricorn energy, you have thought it's about to be a tower at a party or a gathering. What about the Leo energy? Somebody's trying to be in leadership and stand in their power. Could be a Virgo as well. Somebody's getting karma when it comes to being positive and learning and, and teaching about communication and death spells and marry me spells is somebody getting schooled on where they went wrong and why they shouldn't have did this and why they shouldn't have did that it's a Pisces that also is distracted and lost focus but they've been being realistic about a situation and uh, very soon they're going to be analyzing and communicating 
What's the Virgo energy? For the Virgo energy, you have mature woman and then change. Divine Feminine Aquarius, if you have a Virgo placement or if you are a Virgo, it's going to be some changes in how you learn and teach. You're going to be learning a lot of different methods when it comes to healing. So just don't overanalyze your creativity. Mercury energy. Karma with Mercury. Karma for your thoughts. Karma for your words. Yeah, spiritual core. Possible real court or a documentation or a contract. Whatever magic was being done on twin, this twin flame contract or somebody's stability and or child, new beginning, wish fulfillment. All of that karma is coming back, Aquarius. It's about to happen. Some people have been talking about a water sign child, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And it's a female Virgo placement family member that's that's married and in law to this baby or someone's grandmother. Either way it goes, both of the feminine leaders in this situation um, are in poverty because of a low vibrational female that had a child out of magic. The situation is the devil got everybody thinking. We're going to be in poverty either way it go. Whoever we attacked and tried to sacrifice, it didn't work. So they know the devil is collecting. Somebody, y'all need to be honest with y'all families in this situation. It don't matter at this point what they're going to say. You just need to tell them you did some fucked up shit. You, did a, you paid for a binding ritual and you was using period blood and things like that. You just need to tell the truth. Libra energy. Karma when it comes to this Libra energy. Judication. Judgment. Poverty. All the magic that you was using. Energy being stolen. And plans that were made. It's coming back. Because it was very unconventional. To do what was done. What's the Aquarius? Aquarius you already had, had a vision. Maybe you've communicated with a couple of different people what's different about a relationship and what you see as being beautiful. Yeah, but you stuck. Either physical jail is about to materialize because of a court situation involving some money, possibly fraud or something like that. You've been already concerned about this because of whatever you and this Libra magic did on, on that uh, on, <laughs> on Divine Feminine, okay? To try to change this person's leadership and how they receive perfect results in their eyes and all that jealous shit. What's the Sagittarius energy? Aquarius, you've had law enforcement energy, um, undercovers, watching, seeing what Aquarius and uh, Libra, what y'all do for resources, what y'all believe in, how you project yourselves, what do you idolize about work, what your ideal career is, what happens when you all are indecisive, what happens when you all listen to your own intuition. Y'all wasn't concerned about this karma coming and it's coming. What's the sixth house energy? A Aquarius female, Libra female. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all been enemies to each other this whole time. Y'all contract was to be karmic together. Aquarius male, Libra female. Y'all contract was to be karmic together. Everything that you did was never going to impact Divine Masculine or another energy that y'all were hoping. Or another Masculine energy's gifts and things things like that. Y'all plan was very fucked up. And I'm glad that y'all about to get karma. First house. 
and everything is about to change. High Vibrational Collective, y'all keep trusting your own psychic energy and discernment when it comes to your resources and beliefs and your own wisdom as well. Second house in Saturn. Yeah, family room. Family already was out here. And then this Pisces energy. You got high honor. Pisces masculine. You're going to be getting communication that the person that passed away that was an official person that you've been in, dep in depression about. All the work that I've been putting in on this channel, it has not been in vain. Everybody is going to get theirs. I promise. Everybody is going to get theirs. Okay. High vibrational Aquarius masculine. Learn from strong, spiritually strong men. Some, a couple of men may be actually younger than you, but they have a, a higher spiritual ranking and they do have some knowledge to teach you. This karma is wild. It was long overdue, though. Right on time, though. Yeah. Right on time. Collective, make sure you guys are practicing self-care and self-love every day as much as possible. Let's get some rituals out for your inner child, present self, and higher self. inner child says dream journal definitely pay attention to your dreams collective because your ancestors are going to be showing you how to re rebirth rebirth some ideas and opportunities okay go ahead and build strength divine feminine and divine masculine when you guys are feeling your uh sacral chakra like you feel extra extra horny you need to exercise Instead, like instead of masturbating, instead of having sex, exercise, okay? Yeah, whatever y'all currently been doing, when releasing, it hasn't been art. So, take a break from that. Get away from what you've been doing. It's a female that's like all the way up in your energy field because she's trying to control you. Possibly putting things in sweets. Watch your coffee, your cupcakes, cakes brownies donuts all of that yeah she sounds really really well and like she means good but she's really not and then your higher self sing higher self says sing some high vibrational music make sure you guys are meditating and then your healing mantra. Your healing mantra is your losses prove how deeply you loved processing grief. What's most important is the people, places, and things here that you let go of. It's not a permanent goodbye. Okay? It's not a permanent goodbye. Yeah, the devil said it's not a permanent goodbye. But that spell work that y'all did is what's causing this departure. Y'all sent him after someone that was protected by God himself. The contract was for all seven, eight of y'all to be just where you at right now. All right, collective. Talk to you guys later. Bye.